Hello, my name's Charles, and this is my cousin Duncan. As you can see, he's a typical evangelist American. Bible in one hand, gun in the other. Anyway, we're going to talk to you about a religion. Now, not just ordinary religion, but the difference between English and American religion. In America, we like to put God in the centre of everything. He has to be in the centre of our lives. You guys have lost your faith. Well, in Britain, we prefer not to take any notice of all this religious bullshit. As far as I see it, all religions should be outlawed. I mean, it would save us a fortune on the taxpayer's expense. Yeah, but it's just dandy to have Jesus in your heart. I prefer blood in my heart. Now, God is a real good man. And you've got to have Jesus in your heart. He's a real wholesome influence for people today. But if you don't have Jesus in your heart, he'll smite you down. And he'll torture you forever in hell. And all your children will be all lepers. Yes, he sounds like a delightful fellow. I can't really understand why you'd want to worship a man that was no more than a bloody beggar anyhow. Hey, that's not true. Why is all this junk about poverty? The guy's living in holy poverty. That's bullshit. Hey, Jesus was a smart guy, right? I want my savior to wear a decent suit. When he comes back, he's going to be wearing our money. He's going to be dressed to kill, and that's what he's going to do to you, boy. As far as I see it, God is a fake and a bloody chancer, and probably evil too. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let the police gain access to my tax records. Hey, that's not the way it works, man. God sees everything. He's omnipotent. What do you mean he's a peeping Tom? No, I think he turns a blind eye when you're on the can. Anyway, he clearly says, thou shalt not steal. <laughs> a little tax embezzlement is perfectly harmless. I'm sure even Jesus took the occasional backhander. That's beside the point. Don't you know the Ten Commandments? It's basic. It's religious 101. Well, I have heard about the one about not coveting your neighbour's ox. I mean, bloody hell, what kind of weird, strange animals were these people? That's not what it meant. Anyway, you get the updated version and it says, Thou shalt not cover your neighbour's SUV. Yeah, well, I'm absolutely surprised by all this anyway. I mean, you know, surely one of them commandments is about not committing adultery. Yeah, I didn't mean that. It just meant don't let your wife find out. <laughs> you bloody religious people can't make your minds up. I mean, last week you came out hunting with me. What happened to Thou shalt not kill? Well, duh. Get an updated version already. In the new version it says, thou shalt not commit murder, all right? And when Jesus gets back, he's gonna be a member of the NRA. He doesn't have a problem with guns. All right. Doesn't it say something about live by the sword, die by the sword? Duh! Who the hell was talking about swords? You lie means are weird. Get with the program. How else are we gonna defend ourselves against religious lunatics? What program? Are you talking about the brainwashing of people and turning them into mindless idiots who prefer faith to proof? Personally, I quite like a bit of proof in order to believe something. Facts don't prove none. Hey, you got have faith. If we didn't have faith in America, how the hell would we convince ourselves that going around the world spreading democracy would make the world a better place? Because there sure ain't no proof of it. And once we get the rest of the world to start believing in Jesus and throw away all the rest of those nonsense religions, the world would be a much better place. Oh, surely. What about uh, religious tolerance? Surely uh, Jesus uh, had a bit of forgiving in him. Don't be an idiot, he was a Christian. Well, technically speaking, he wasn't really, was he? He was Christ. You call my lot a Muslim? Remember, Jesus loves everybody as long as you're not a shit pushing faggot, a Muslim, French, or a goddamn Jew. Wasn't Jesus a Jew himself? Shut up, Limey. You don't know a goddamn thing. Isn't that taking the Lord's name in vain? No, it's not. Jesus did it all the time. Hey, he was just from the streets, yeah? He grew up on the streets, dragged himself out of the gutter all by himself to become the son of God. He lived the American dream. Woo! Go, America! 